Boys, welcome in. Welcome back to Playmakers Picks, where we pick one DFS and one sportsbook play every single day on here on YouTube without fail. Now, as we recap yesterday's picks, we had Jaron Duran over one and a half hits runs RBIs and Cal Quintrill over five and a half hits allowed. Both of those hit. While that game was very lopsided, very ugly, they were putting up football scores we still were making our money and we have been on an absolute ripper when it comes to our dfs plays every single day we're cashing two man slips like fucking clockwork now full transparency in the spirit of transparency right guys we have not been scorching hot on the books we had uh detroit team runs over three and a half runs yesterday that didn't hit bivy left the game early which had us even more excited that it was going to hit and detroit line or yeah detroit tigers offense just could not get it done but uh football season is around the corner and that is really where we make our bread and butter uh baseball when you when you get it right it is everyday money and it is a lot of fun and right now we just keep breaking even we're, we're betting at like 60 percent right now so we're not going up crazy units right now we keep murdering it uh we're, every day we're hitting like seven of eight uh player props and uh, eight of 10 player props. And then we're like 500 on the sports books. But once both of these are cooking good, this is about to get yucky in the best way in the best way. But like I said, football season around the corner, head over to fanbases.com slash I am Jimmy Hill. Um, if you want to get free VIP, which fan bases is where I host my VIP community, um, go over to chalkboard, I have a partnership with them. They'll give you a free $100. Um, if you deposit 100 or if you want to do 10, they'll match your 10. Just use code JHill um, and they'll hook you up with that free sign up. And then let me know that you did that. And I will go ahead, take care of you, get you in our VIP community. And we got UFC this weekend too. A card I really like, some fighters I really like, a couple dog uh, money options as well. So uh, we got one day passes. So stay tuned for that. But today's free play of the day, when it comes to our DFS play of the day, we got Freddy, 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 Freddy versus Logan Webb is batting a lifetime 412 with one home run, five RBIs and 1,000, uh, 1033 OPS, right? Um, Freddy's been hitting the ball well. He is an absolute menace. We come over here to uh, Outlier, which we love to use, right? 34 at-bats, 412. Uh, you guys already know those numbers. Now, versus right-handed pitching, hitting 313 this year, 11 bombs, 47 ribbies, and damn near 1,000 OPS. We really, really like what Freddie's been doing. Um, you know, got blanked a couple times here in San Francisco, but last night came back to life, right? And so... We're, we're not we're not minding these two because his history versus Logan Webb, I expect him to get the job done. Um, and now the second leg of that is Miguel and Duhar. Oakland A's offense. You if you guys have been here for the last week, you know we we have been we've been making some money with this shitty Oakland A's franchise, fantastic Oakland A's uh, offense. And when it comes to Miguel and Duhar in the two hole spot for the Oakland A's, he has hit five of the last six over one and a half hits runs rbis and also it has been over two and a half hits runs rbis he has been an absolute menace having multi-hit games almost every single game out of that two-man spot you got jj blade right after you who's been hitting the ball well and then you got brent rooker if he doesn't get the job done so the run production has definitely been there and then as we go here we click left hand pitching because that's what he's facing today for the angels the one and a half hits runs RBIs line has hit eight of the last 10 games for Miguel Andujar and I think 75% of the last 20. He's hitting the ball really fucking well. Let's not overthink this. Now, you know, after uh, a really tough performance and a really tough matchup versus Hunter Brown of the Astros last night in that last game of that series, I think uh, that is not the dagger that is going to put the Oakland A's offense back into uh, irrelevance. I do not see that happening. What I see happening is a big bounce back effort from the Oakland A's to go play a shitty opponent, a team who's just as shitty as them as the Angels. Um but their offense is a lot better. So I expect the Oakland A's 
and uh, the Los Angeles Angels to be a slop fest of a lot of offense. And while we, we make our jokes and call it a slop fest, these guys are still big leaguers. So when I say I want to see some offense, I want to see Lawrence Butler, J.J. Blade, Miguel Andujar. I want to see these guys light up some radar guns with some exit velo. I want to see them put some balls in the stands. And I love run production. Give me some doubles. Give me some ribbies. But we really like these two plays. So that is what we got for you today. Uh, we got Miguel Andujar over one and a half hits runs RBIs and Freddie Freeman over one and a half hits runs RBIs. And now our book play of the day. We got the Braves at New York Mets under seven and a half runs, right? Um, as we, where, where were we over here? Yep. So this line, uh, when we look at, let's find it, Chris Sale. Well, one of the beautiful things that, that we've been able to see here um, with some of these veteran pitchers coming off of the All-Star break, when they get their first outing after the All-Star break, that rest has done them wonders. Think about guys like Carlos Rodon. Um, who, who else? Like, but <laughs> only one coming to mind right now is Carlos Rodon. But man, Carlos Rodon went from being a fucking dog in the worst way to becoming the second coming of Cy Young versus uh, the Tampa Bay Rays in that first start after extended rest over the All-Star break. Now, with all these rain delays, has it messed with Chris Sell's uh, routine a bit? Probably, but I'm sure he has truly welcomed uh, this rest here. And so I expect him to have a, a fantastic outing today. And then as we look at Luis Severino, right, we don't need to overthink Chris Sell. He is having a wonderful year and... He's got a ton of rest. Now, Luis Severino, as we look at these charts here, it's starting to, to kind of trend downward, especially these, these last two, right? I don't think that the uh, Braves offense is still the offense that we expected them to to be um, at full health, right? They just aren't at full health. And I do not see them single-handedly putting up the seven-run spot. Um, and Luis Severino has shown some some spots of um, of being the guy that, that that they brought him in to be. So I, I like this matchup under seven and a half. Uh, Chris Sell on long rest especially. I really, really like that. So these are our two plays of the day. Uh, other than that, I hope you guys have an amazing day. We'll see you tomorrow on Playmakers Picks. Love y'all. Peace.